When maximizing the potential output of your press, the ability to change rolls without stopping is of the utmost importance, and web splicing is a crucial step in this procedure. Keen Technology takes the splicing process one step further with zero gap butt splicing. With traditional lap splicing methods, the trailing edge of the old roll and the leading edge of the new roll overlap and are held together with double-sided tape. Normally this creates a tail at the splice, which may cause jams or other related problems. Also, the double thickness of the paper, combined with the tape between them, may be problematic in some instances and simply unacceptable in others. What makes our zero gap butt splicing method superior to traditional lap splicing is that the leading edge of the new roll is butted to the trailing edge of the expiring roll. This creates a tail-free splice without the added thickness of overlapping webs, not unlike a continuous web. This means less potential for splice-related problems down the line, and therefore, more productivity. From our long line of quality splicing equipment comes the ZC series cantilevered butt splicer. The standard features of the ZC make it the best choice for many splicing applications. The ZC is a solidly built unit and our attention to detail shows. Its quality construction means the ZC will provide many years of dependable service. Loading of rolls is quick and easy. Shaft collars make placement of rolls on longer runs virtually automatic. Splice preparation on the ZC was designed with simplicity in mind. After tilting the splice head up, the operator pulls the leading edge of the new roll over the splice table, and while holding the new web, lowers the splice head back into position. Next, one piece of tape is applied to the vacuum bar. A second piece of tape is then applied to the pull-out drum. The two-sided tape application ensures maximum splice strength as well as maintains web integrity during die cutting operations. The ZC is now ready for the next splice. The fully automatic splice cycle means minimal operator intervention is required. When splicing occurs, the web is brought to a stop. The rotary knife cuts through both webs and the tape is applied. Cutting both webs at the same time is a concept first implemented by KTI. The standard tape trimming mechanism then removes any excess tape from the splice. The result is a strong, clean splice without the inherent problems of a traditional lap splice. Zero speed splicing is attained by use of a storage festoon. Just before the splice occurs, the festoon fills with paper. While the splice is taking place, the festoon keeps the web moving at press speed while at the same time avoiding any undue stress to the web. Once the splice is complete and the new roll is up to speed, the festoon returns to its low running position. By running in the lower position during normal operation, wrinkling and web weave are avoided. With automatic side lay as a standard feature, the running web is kept in constant alignment resulting in clean, accurate splices. Control of the ZC is maintained through a simple yet powerful control panel. Troubleshooting is easy with integrated system diagnostics. In addition to the many standard features included with the ZC, there are also several options available. A roll loading cart makes the simple task of loading rolls even easier. An automatic decurler removes unwanted curl from the web, which may be necessary in some applications. It adjusts automatically by monitoring roll diameter. An in-register splice system for pre-printed or pre-punched webs makes sure the splice occurs where it's wanted, eliminating waste and increasing profits. 
Team Technology understands the importance of productivity. That's why we design and manufacture the finest splicing and rewinding equipment available. The ZC is no exception. It follows in the KTI tradition of supplying the industry with solutions that not only work, but work better. When looking for the best splicing options, remember KTI in the ZC Series Putt Splicer.